Hey, welcome to another sawmill video. Today I'm gonna be doing some sawmilling. It's been a long time since I made a sawing video, so hope you enjoy. There. Mmm, ah. that's a good apple. Alright, so if you can't tell, it's a windy day and it is wet. I actually had had rain blowing about halfway into the shed. Unfortunately, got some things wet, which is not ideal. So without further ado, let's get some sawing done. I don't have much to do. I just got some custom orders to fill in the cedar. So first of all, got to load up the log deck and get at it. because the wind is just blowing into the shed like crazy.
Oh, there it is. Some beautiful cedar 2x4s. Custom cut to order. Sometimes if I need a temporary place to stack lumber, I'll just stack it on the end of the sawmill here. I got some short little stickers, about two foot. And I'll just take those and set some lumber on these last three cross pumps here and stack it up there temporarily. Makes a good, nice flat surface to stack some lumber. But anyway, there it is. Real nice cedar 2x4s. So I've been thinking about maybe making some sliding doors for this big opening and shed here. Or some kind of an ag curtain or something to put over the front of this opening because when we get wind and rain, it drives rain in there and I don't like that. So not good for your equipment to get wet. So I've been thinking about doing something like that. Also, if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, I've also been thinking about maybe putting a putting a roof out this way, like over the log deck, just to help keep the rain out and stuff. So I do like the shed. It's a little bit small, I'd say, but um, I was trying to go as small as I could, you know, save money. And um, I've actually been working on making a video on the sawmill shed build, uh, kind of going through that, and so. Stay tuned if you guys want to see that video. Hopefully it should be out in the next couple weeks. Another thing I do want to mention is that on this cedar here, I'm actually going to be buying all these cedar logs from the guy that bought them originally. He was going to pay me to cut them up for him, but ended up I'm just going to buy them and sell them and try to sell them myself. $325 a cord, which was delivered here. It was 22 cords delivered here last uh, February, I believe it was. So I've already sold some of it and uh, so I'm going to be sawing a lot of cedar in the future so I'll probably have some more videos coming down the pipe of sawing cedar. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on that. And another thing is, is I've got, I, I finally got fascia put up around the sawmill shed and that's looking great. So that's going to keep the fascia boards from rotting away hopefully. Alright, see you guys in the next video.